Hey guys, Max92, and welcome back to another tryout. Today's tryout is on Hyper Light Drifter. It was originally going to be on a different game, but I finished that game in like an hour and a half, less than that. It was a little over an hour, and so I was like, I guess I gotta play something else, so I picked this one. While I was going through playing it, I was having a hard time putting my thoughts into words about it. It's, it's an interesting game, but like, it's a bit esoteric, in a sense. I'm really having trouble, like, coming up with things to say about this game. It's just like a top-down hack-and-slash sort of thing, where you got, like, your dash, you got your little sword swipe, you got a gun. Gun. Uh, you walk around, do that sort of stuff. But, like, maybe it's just all the Elden Ring I've been playing, but I don't know if I'd exactly call this a Souls Light, but I feel like it definitely takes some inspiration from that style of game. Uh, I don't think it has that same gameplay loop, at least from the little over an hour that I played. But and then I went and I looked on the Steam page, and it is a fact, you know, one of the tags is Souls-like. But I feel like that maybe comes from its difficulty rather than, like, the actual gameplay loop of a Dark Souls, a Bloodborne, an X Sekiro, Elden Ring sort of thing. You know, those sorts of games. I think the part that most brings people into this game is its aesthetic. The colors, the music, the designs of everything, like it's very striking and very like intriguing. It's It's got this feeling to it. And even I think in that way that it sets itself up, it sort of gives you that sort of Souls game feel in a sense too. Because Souls games can also be a bit esoteric and a bit mysterious in this like certain way that really pulls people in. And I think this game has that. From what I played, I can see how this would get pretty difficult, like, especially in more, in, you know, involved fights. I've not done that much combat, and the combat I have done, I haven't had the most trouble with, besides certain enemies here and there, and, you know, uh, figuring out dodge timings and that sort of thing. But, like, I actually didn't run into that much combat, that many enemies in my sort of time searching around, and it made me, it gave me this feeling that this game's big, like, focus is more like an exploration. I feel like the big thing is walking around this world and finding things. There are so many, like, hidden paths that I found myself walking down while I was playing just for that hour. And it's just sort of like, you get this feeling that you're treading new ground to an extent. You're, you're exploring this world and you're finding things and you're, you know, getting yourself stronger i assume i don't really know what uh the things are that i'm getting are so i'm not entirely sure what's happening and there's not a lot of there's no text telling you anything you get visual aids from some things you will be like hey this thing it's there you know it'll just show the picture and it'll show it on your map that sort of thing like so i was just mostly just looking around and trying to find things and i wasn't really diving into the combat so much but again that sort of exploration feel like all this stuff makes it very feel like very inspired by the souls game but I, like i said i don't think it has the same gameplay loop where you know in the souls games you have your little like bonfire or equivalent and when you die you go back to that thing and you gotta go back through and whatever whereas like hyper light drifter is segmented into like rooms and it seems like at least the times that I've died, when you die, you don't go back to your previous, like, save spot or whatever. You just start the room over, um, which is very different, which gives you a different sort of gameplay loop. So if you fail a combat encounter in this room, which is, you know, the combat encounter basically is the room, you just start the combat encounter over again. Though, so, you know, the rooms might be big enough to where you sort of have a couple combat encounters in them but in my head I sort of see each screen 
you know, each room, whatever, as its own singular thing. So having to start the room over doesn't, isn't as much of a punishment as in, you know, the Souls games where you might lose like 15, 20 minutes of progress if you're not being careful. I really think Hyper Light Drifter is a pretty interesting game. I like the aesthetics, I like, you know, the, the music, the un non-specific narrative introduction is pretty interesting. The, like, I mean, it, it has, you know, that's not a, it's not like a really short cutscene. It's, you know, it's a little bit of a, a thing introducing you to the, the world in a sense and the aesthetics. And I think that really pulls you into it in a bit where you're just sort of like, okay, what is, what does this mean? What does this mean for me? Uh, what do I do? What am I doing? You know, and so you, you feel more inclined to want to keep going. And so I'll most likely keep going. I didn't uninstall it. It's still on there. It's on my computer. So who knows how much I'll play it. I don't play. I played with a controller because the game recommended it. So I don't play a lot of games on the computer with a controller. So we'll see. But I do now have a controller connected like a blue and one of my Xbox controllers Bluetoothed on. So it's not going to be as whatever. I had to do a little bit of setup in the first five minutes of my recording to like figure out how to get the controller or whatever. All right, that was about five minutes of messing around getting a controller set up. But, you know, it didn't take that long. It's just, like I said, it was like, I started recording, the game booted up, so like, we recommend a controller. I'm like, oh, I gotta fuss around with Windows to get the controller connected, because it wouldn't take the PlayStation 5 controller, so I had to go get the Xbox controller. Because I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring on the computer, but using uh, the PlayStation's... Um, streaming to computer app but with that i have to plug the controller in to the computer because it doesn't just let me connect the controller to the playstation like the xbox streaming to pc app stuff does so i've been playing with i have a easy to access type c cable here because i've been playing a lot of elden ring through streaming to my computer lately uh, but it wouldn't let me play with the playstation 5 controller it didn't seem to be working in the game so I had to get an Xbox controller, but that worked perfectly fine. So uh, if you have an Xbox controller, I believe it also will work with a PS4 controller. So either of those would work or just mouse and keyboard. PlayStation 5 controller as it stands does not work for Hyper Light Drifter. I guess I should might as well say that. Anyway, the Game Pass is tryout. I'm rambling. Game Pass is tryout. I'm going to play more. Uh, I got my little color theme going for the episode. Anyway, just We're just going to be done now. I've been, I've been rambling on for a while. So... Uh, down in the description, you find links to all sorts of places. Patreon, Bandcamp, Redbubble, all sorts of stuff. Down in the description, click the links, do the things down there. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't. Uh, leave a comment. Have you played Hyper Life Drifter? Have you, uh, what do you, th what do you think about it? What's your opinions on Hyper Light Drifter? Let me know down in the comments. Share the video, do the things, do the things. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!